You see, the problem is we're just a bit too humble. But before we talk about how humble we are, who am I anyway? When we're asked to identify ourselves, we'll most likely say, I'm Chaim or Sarah. I'm Chassidish, Litvish, Sephardic, Ashkenazi. I daven at, mm, uh, no, no, I never step foot in. I learn in, I shop at, I vacation in, I belong to, I work at B&H, I like sushi, I dislike shawarma, I wear a bend down or a streimel. Oh, I happen to live in the smallest house in the world. And though we may not announce this out loud, many of us define ourselves by our challenges. I was often at a young age. I'm the person who's always afraid. I have a serious struggle with anger management. Uh, I'm not so super organized and don't really get my act together. All these details, what we do or don't do, what we like or dislike, our shortcomings, our successes, may all be true, but they're all external descriptions that at best tell us details about us. They don't tell us who we are, what's the core essence of our identity. Who am I? In Parsha Shmais, Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu, go to Parai and tell him, Koyam and Hashem, so says Hashem, B'ni b'choyli Yisrael. The Yidin, they're my precious children. Now this is the core essential identity of a year. The Baal Shem Tov says, the greatest mistake we make in our, is our misplaced humility. We don't own our preciousness. We think we're nobody special. We are B'ni B'chayri Yisrael. We're Hashem's most precious children. And here's where the problem begins, says the Baal Shem Tov. We think too little of ourselves. If only we would believe in our true identity, who we really are. If only we would recognize how much Hashem cherishes our words of Torah and Tefillah, how they impact the entire universe. If we would only believe in the power we have to fill the entire world with Hashem's light through every act of a mitzvah, big or small. Oh, if only we would absorb and internalize the truth of who we are, we'd be serving Hashem with the greatest amount of joy. So let's spend time reflecting on answering the question of, who am I? And when we own our own identity as Hashem's child, it will allow us to view our spouse, children, neighbors, friends, and practically every it as Hashem's children. B'ni b'chayri Yisrael. Let's allow this identity to penetrate our hearts and elevate our lives in our homes at work. As parents, teachers, children, siblings, friends, and neighbors, let's live our lives as they reflect our true essence. B'ni. B'chayri Yisrael, Hashem's dearest children.